Welcome everyone to a new PSP video. Today we're taking a look at the Game Boy Advance emulator for the PSP. There are many variations, but we will be focusing on one particular release, and that is the GPSP. It's an open source emulator created by Xphase for the PlayStation Portable. The compatibility is very good and is recommended, and the latest release we're going to use is the version 3.4, test 4, build 230. Development for this emulator stopped in 2009, but another developer by the name of Eric P. Schatt has rejuvenated the emulator calling it GPSP Kai. The developer released an unofficial build which introduces some bug fixes and runs almost all games from zip archives. To install this emulator is quite simple, go to the first link in the comment section down below and download the correct version for your PSP either going to be the fat version which is for the PSP 1000 or the slim version which will work for any PSP 2000 and beyond. Next we will download the BIOS which is required to run the emulator. If you do not add this to your GPSP folder the emulator will prompt an error message asking you to add this BIOS file and will exit you out of the emulator. Extract all the files and add the BIOS into the main folder of the GPSP folder. Next, all of your ROMs should go into your ROM folder, which is located under the GBA folder. Now let's take a look at cheats. Go to the third link down below to download the cheat files. These cheats are for specific games and mainly the most played or known GBA games. Extract the folder once downloaded and copy all the files in the newly extracted folder and paste them under the GB slash CHT folder, which means cheat. Connect your PSP via USB and add the new emulator under your PSP game folder. If you do have subfolders like I do, just add it to the appropriate folder. For me, it's going to be under the emulator folder. Make sure the emulator is not under a subfolder, otherwise it will be shown as corrupted on your device. You should now be able to run the emulator no problem. Once you're in, you will have the time and battery percentage at the very top, which is very convenient. And it will automatically take you to your ROM folder and show you all the games that are available to play. Although this emulator runs great, not all games work, so there is a compatibility sheet where you can see all the games that do not work on the PSP through this emulator. Everything has its limits, unfortunately. Anyways, once you run a game, you can press the square button to open the frames at the very top of the screen and the most important is pressing triangle which will take you to the main menu of the emulator. Here you can save your game, close your game, load another game, change video settings, overclock your PSP and add cheats. To add cheats go to the cheats manager then load the cheats. Wait for the list to generate and select the game that you are currently playing. Once it's loaded, you can enable and disable cheats as you play. There are multiple pages, so make sure to change the pages under Cheat Page. Highlight the Cheat Page option and press left to right to change the pages to look at all the available cheats for that game. 
This emulator runs most of your favorite games no problem, so let me know if you have any questions regarding this emulator down in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for watching, hope to see you soon, and long live the PSP. Catch you on the next one. Peace.